Water impulse charge. Cut a piece of backing material that is 4 inches by 8 inches or is equal to the size of the water container. Note, backing material should be the size of the water container. Backing material may be cardboard or any low frag material that will hold the charge configuration. The backing material provides a flat surface area on which to attach the charge to the target. Make a 6 inch priming loop in the deck cord and then repeatedly and tightly fold the remainder of deck cord into an elongated mass. Tape it together. The mass must conform to the size of the water container. Take, tape the backing material to one of the two water containers. Ensure that the backing material maintains a flat face and is not curved from taping. If the backing material is curved, it will reduce the charge to target contact area. Attach the explosive. Center the deck cord onto one water container and tape it in place with two or more wraps of electrical tape. Taping the deck cord in place will keep it from pulling out as the charge is constructed. Face the second water container facing the same direction as the first. Place it on top of the first bag and then tightly tape them together. Ensure that the deck cord is sandwiched between the two water containers. Protect the water container by taping them entirely with tape. Note. Ensure the backing rem material remains flat so that the breacher's tape or double-sided tape can be placed on the charge to secure the charge to the target. Construct the charge attachment system. Create a bridle for the water charge by cutting a 3 feet piece of 550 cord and tying an overhand knot about 3 inches from each end to assist in holding up the charge. Note this bridle will allow the charge to hang from a prop stick. Place the cord along each side of the charge from top to bottom forming a loop at the top of the charge that is big enough to allow it to be supported by a prop stick. Tightly tape around the top of the charge allowing at least 2 inches of 550 cord to remain exposed on the bottom. Fold the 550 cord upward forming a locking bite. Tape over the 550 cord. Test the bridle by giving the charge a heavy shake. Note. Reversing the cord will ensure that it does not pull out from under the tape. Cover the entire face of the backing material with double-sided tape. Peel the protective cover and run a strip of tape across the top and bottom one inch of the double-sided tape. Run the strip of tape onto the charge. Note: The strip of tape ensures that the tape does not come off in adverse weather. Cut a prop stick to appropriate length and notch it to hold the 550 cord. 